Hi guys, I have in front of me a Mark 1 Rhino, um, fresh from Games Day. Now, uh, I'm going to have to fully apologise uh, to my YouTube subscribers because I don't normally rant, but uh, I think I'm long overdue a rant here. Um, I have a lot of positives from Games Day, but uh, I don't want to end on the negatives, so we'll start with the negatives first. GW, what are they playing at? Um, basically... Um, for the price of the ticket, which is thirty pounds, you get, uh, which is arguably, you know, an eight or a nine pound um, miniature. So let's say the cost of the ticket is just over twenty uh, UK pounds. Now, I personally believe um, the entertainment that GW put on for that price is just not there. Um, I mean, basically, what happens is you queue up, um, say from you know eight, nine, whatever time you queue up from. Then it's literally, and this is no exaggeration, a stampede for everyone to get to the Forge World um, area. And even if you're uh, fairly early in the line, which I, me, myself, um, there was that Fulgrim 1978, Triss, and uh, Mac, Monis, Calgar, we all rushed there, and it was literally about 10 deep for the whole aisle. And uh, we was in the queue for about an hour to get the Forge World thing. Um, goodies if you like and then after that once once you'd actually picked up your item uh, they then turned around and says no sorry you gotta go and re-queue up to pay and uh, we was there early and we could have been waiting two or three hours just to just to pay for an item um, some of the poor people um, I was told um, that the queue was about 700 800 deep uh, to get to get to purchase anything and it was an absolute shambles from GW. Um, it really was. It was some of the worst organisation skills I have ever seen. Um, it, it was just pathetic. Um, I and mean, then going on to the actual event itself, um, the only thing that I saw that was really cool that GW was doing um, was the area where you could sit down and uh, build an own your own custom model out of the sprues that was given away for free and uh, enter it into a competition uh, now there was hardly any area to sit down and by about one o'clock all of the sprues had gone so that uh, event had ended and i just feel that there should have been so much more there um i mean thq's uh, presence was there for the computer game which was quite cool um but gw itself i just i just thought there was very lacking there was no new real killer news coming out uh, from games day to uh, get the uh, hardcore fans excited it, you know it, it, i don't know I, I just i just felt the event uh, itself was uh, a little poor uh, showing for gw um let's go to the positives because there was positives and for me what made games day was not uh, the ticket price, it wasn't the event, it was the people that I actually bumped into and I went with. Uh, I had a great day. And so basically for me, YouTube made it. Uh, because if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have met up with uh, awesome people. I mean, I met up with uh, the great Jojo man himself, Clarky 1991, um, Worthy Painting, and uh, Black Snart Studios, uh, Leiden, and, and the list goes on. F sorry if I didn't mention you, but... Basically, uh, we had a scream, and uh, Chojo Man's uh, just as uh, enthusiastic and funny uh, in person as he is in his videos. Uh, he's a, a really funny guy. I met Chains as well, another nice guy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we had an absolute crack, um, you know, chatting away about the hobby and what we like and what we don't like. And uh, I also bumped into a graphic artist, and I'm into that sort of thing, like design. And it's interesting. This is another thing that uh, you know it does bring a chuckle uh, to me, really. Um, it, they've only just recently gone over to digital painting. Uh, for those in the uh, that don't know, digital painting is is where you use Photoshop or Crowd Painter, and you use uh, like a pen tablet that you write on, and and you do all your painting digitally through that, and it. it uh, Productivity wise, you you cannot beat it. I mean, there's obviously there's things that you lose from t traditional painting, but the the things that you can gain, especially in a, a medium uh, like uh, computer games and and uh, even GW, it's the way forward really. And and you know, computer computer game developers have been using that sort of thing now for the last ten or fifteen years. And it was amazing talking to him to show you he, he doesn't even know how to use the package. Um, 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 to its full abilities yet and you, you just think sometimes 
GW are always last to the table, that sort of thing. But no, I had a great uh, conversation with that gentleman. Uh, he, you know, he, he had some serious um, artistic talent. Uh, but yeah, the uh, games day itself, yeah, just I don't know, I just felt a little let down. But yeah, let's let's go on to some cool stuff then. This this yeah, I've been spinning it for five minutes now. You must be bored to tears. But let's quickly go over the the key differences. Now I've got the original Rhino here. Oh, sorry, or I should say the plastic Rhino kit, the uh, modern one that's available. Um, and I'm sure we've all got one or seen one. Uh, the key differences is you've got a new front plate and. The exhaust uh, stacks, if I can try and get them into camera, are completely different. And then you got that round hatch. Now, uh, there's quite a few people at uh, Games Day that seen this was uh, split. Some people, it's like, I think, I think I'm think i going to call this the Marmite tank. Uh, you either love it or, or you hate it. Uh, I really like it. I uh, love the new exhaust, so much more detailed. And, uh, and I love the round hatches as well. Again, I, I think that's such a cool look. Um, but yeah, I think as you know, uh, Forge World goes. Some of some of their uh, you know uh, models can uh, make you want to you know uh, spit your teeth out. I mean, the new Land Raider is eighty pounds. I mean, forty pounds for a, a Land Raider seems a bit pricey, but double that for a Land Raider. Um, I mean, I'd find it hard to justify that sort of cost, even though um, I've got footage of it and I'll try and upload it when I get it. I mean, it's a lovely looking thing. But this, as things go, I mean, if a Rhino costs you £20, you're only paying £13 for all the upgrade parts and there's a lot of resin. I mean, that's thick and it's quite heavy. Um, so as Forge World go, I don't think it's that much of an increase in cost to get something that's quite cool and unique. Um, so that's that. Um, I will also say as well from uh, I'm going to try and get this into shot if I can um, t -t 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 yeah right when you make the rhino you've got to make it to this stage and you've got to put the top on uh, first which then leads you to put in the side panels on like so um, it's leading us up to here so when you come to the tracks you cannot put the tracks on before you put the top plate on, because this has to clip in, which uh, forms the double joint of the uh, the wheels, if you like, or the rollers. Uh, so you have to, oh, it's so difficult. You have to slide the top links under there, being very careful it doesn't fall through, because you'll never get it back out again. And you've got to make sure that you do it in a fairly <laughs> or relatively quick fashion, because otherwise you won't get the single link into the top double link there. Um, there's no way else uh, I could have seen that they um, designed it to, to make that happen. But yeah, putting this um, uh, the, the uh, tracks on there is at least at least a couple of times more difficult than um, doing your uh, um, your standard Rhino layout. So that just just a pre warning for people um, when you're actually having to put the uh, tracks on there. On this mark, it's way more difficult than the uh, standard plastic Rhino kit. Um, that's about it. I've got loads of uh, footage uh, from Games Day. Um, uh, most of it's probably going to be rubbish, me just jibber jabbering and whatnot. So, uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to go through it over the next uh, few days and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so sorry for the huge rant, but you know, I just wanted to get it off my chest. You know, if like I say, if it weren't for the people I went with and how much of a laugh we had, uh, yeah, um, I would have come home really deflated. But as it is. I've got a lovely tank and I met some lovely people and had a great time. So will I go again? Yes, probably. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching, guys. And I know I always forget, but I really will try and uh, remember to put some links down below for some of the great people I met at Games Day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.